Okay, check your answers. Be sure you have them as we go through. And one, Camden, will you read it and fill in the blank for us? And we're just going to go down the row. Make it quick and easy. Number two, Sawyer. Absolutely. Did anybody put anything else? That was what I was looking for, but there's another correct answer. It's also to the right of the prime meridian. So it is also 100% in the eastern hemisphere. So southern hemisphere was what we were looking for because we talked about it's the land down under. But if you put eastern, that would be right too. Okay, number three, Will? Okay, number four, Emily? Uluru. 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 There are, we talked about the Ural Mountains a little bit at the beginning of the year, so that's a real place too, but Uluru. Uluru. Number five, Dylan? Yep. Number six, Ty? And this one has several answers, so if you don't have exactly what Ty says, wait until we go over it. Okay, so Ty, tell us what you put. Read it and fill, fill it in with your answer. Good. He said on the East Coast, did anyone use a different way of doing that? Jared? Good. Jasmine? Eastern Highlands? Dylan? southeastern part. As long as you've got something of similar meaning, you might have said the east, near the east coast, the Great Dividing Range, eastern highlands. Sometimes people put the Pacific coast because that's the body of water that's close to it. As long as you have something that has the same meaning, you're good. Number seven, Keaton. Good. And I like how you use that vocabulary word. You might put hot and arid, and mirror arid means dry. Jasmine, number eight. Good. I like using that vocabulary word. We know indigenous means native, but if you didn't write, bless you, if you did not write indigenous, I would go back and write indigenous. If you just wrote native, I would write the word indigenous there because you're very likely to see indigenous on the test because it checks to see if you know your vocabulary word, that indigenous means native, and that you know that they are the indigenous people of Australia. So you know indigenous will show up on the test in some form. All right, number nine. Number nine for us. Tony Gray? Aborigine. Yeah. If you put Southeast Asia, that's even more detailed, and that's fine. As long as you've got Asia, it's good enough. But Southeast Asia was like the best answer. Number 10, Henley? Good. Number 11, Chloe? That's a true statement. What country specifically from Europe? You can, you can shout it out. Britain, England, United Kingdom, those are all describing the same place. So if you put Great Britain, that's fine. If you put UK, that's fine. If you put England, that's fine. Chloe, your answer was right, but it needed to be a little bit more specific. Okay, you need to be more specific in your country. Number 12, Jared. Good. Penal or prisoner calling. You should know what those words mean. Number 13, Tucker. Yeah, more specifically, a gold rush. They had a gold rush. That was that event where people were hurrying, trying to get there so that they could strike it rich. Jacob wasn't here yesterday. Uh, Layla, number 14. Jacob, you need to come get this, buddy. Number 14, Layla. Okay, you said the right answer. So you guessed correctly if you were confused. Did they have to fight for their independence? No, their independence was granted, which means it was given to them. So this was false because they did not have to fight. Their independence was given to them. Number 15, Aiden.
Yes, absolutely. Many of the Aborigines did die from those diseases brought over. That's going to be a huge problem. It's going to lead to a, a huge decrease in the number of Aborigines. Number 16, Caitlin. Yes, that is true. And we know marsupials an animal that carries its young in a pouch until they're able to develop enough to live outside of the pouch. They're born super tiny. And in the bottom, we have some analogies. It says Native Americans are to the U.S. as Aborigines are to Australia. Native Americans were the native people of the United States, so you were looking for the native people of Australia. Number 18, what was your answer? Canberra, Canberra, which is in the ACT, Australian Capital Territory, is to Australia as Washington, D.C. is to the U.S. As long as you wrote Canberra, you have the right answer. I was just making it specifically where it was located, just like we do Washington, D.C. When you write out Canberra, you write Canberra, ACT. Number 19, everybody, what was your answer? Captain Cook or James Cook? Christopher Columbus is an explorer given credit with finding North America, even though he was not exactly the first person to do that. James Cook was the first person to Australia. And number 20 said to write your own analogy. Let's hear some of those, Dylan. Perfect. He said Mount McKinley is the U.S. That's our highest mountain. It's up in Alaska. As Mount Causey is Australia. Great one. Jasmine. Perfect. Tasmania is Australia. As Hawaii is the U.S. That's our island state. Caitlin. Good. President is the U.S. as Prime Minister is Australia. If you didn't have an analogy written down, what could you do? Write one of those down. Write one of those that you're hearing. These are really good examples. Camden. Good. New York City is our most populated city, and Sydney is Australia's most populated. Sawyer. I was waiting for that one. Yeah, we only have one marsupial. We have the possum. So if you've got the possum on there compared with another marsupial from Australia, like the koala, that's a good one. Gary. Good. Really good analogies. Really good. Those are really good. And some of them are some that I don't always hear every year. Some of them I hear quite often. And some of, you, some of the ones that you share today aren't ones that I hear all the time. All right, on the back, looking at your crossword. There are one across. Everybody, what did you get? Out back. And I'm just going to make it so we can see all of it. And you check your answers. Crosswords are kind of self-checking anyway. And that you're able to count the letters and make sure. There we go. One across remote inland regions of Australia, everybody. Outright number four across sheep or cattle ranch. Eleven Australia government program that removed Aboriginal children from their homes for cultural reprogramming. Twelve a synonym for dry. Going down number two down Indigenous people of Australia. Number three down Australia's national law making body. Five down native. Indigenous. Six down overseas settlement by a parent country. Seven down, type of animal that carries its young in a pouch as the infants mature. Eight down, moving from place to place in search of food. Nine down, in a parliamentary democracy, the leader of the legislative and also the executive branch, prime minister. Yeah, we know that's the leader of their country. Ten down, visible part of a single large rock sticking out of the earth. Monolith. These were all vocabulary words. I didn't put every single vocabulary word on here. We know there's 21 vocabulary words. So this is not all the vocabulary. Be sure you study the vocabulary in your EN. This was just a way to help you review it yesterday. This was just a way to get you to practice it. These were some of the key ones, but there's still more words. Candace? Yes. All those vocabulary words, you know, some of those are government words, like prime minister is one of the words that's on your government notes, but it's also in your vocabulary. So really it's kind of in two places. Okay, does that make sense? That's it. That's, that's it. Here. P, it's a hard word. P A R L I A M E N T. 
lot of people don't see that A that's in there. Yeah, some of these are hard to spell. That's why it was hard to put them in the right places. Which one? Prime Minister, P-R-I-M-E, M-I-N-I-S-T-E-R. You're going to fold your paper, and then you're going to flip it to the back so the crossword is looking at you. Fold it so you can see the crossword. And I believe this is page 37, but double check me on that because you're the first class. This is 37. Be sure you study vocabulary, facts, those government notes, and use this review to help you. 37.